If you're a homeowner in Georgia and you're considering installing solar panels on your home, then stop right there. You're going to want to watch this video first because I'm going to be explaining how the Georgia Power Solar Program works and how you can get the maximum rebates and benefits. Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge. And for the past eight years, I've been helping families get their home set up to survive a loss of the electric grid. And of course here at Solar Surge, we do that primarily using renewable energy, solar power, uh, sometimes with battery backup and generator backup as well. Now in today's video, we're gonna be looking at specifically how the solar program works in Georgia and also Georgia Power's solar program to see if this might be the right fit for you. Now, one of the first things you always want to look for when you're considering a solar installation is what's called a net metering program. And the reason you want to do a net metering is because basically, um, if you have an, uh, an existing connection to the power company, which pretty much all homes are required to have at least some connection to the utility uh, power company, but it allows you to turn that relationship into a two-way relationship. So instead of you just buying everything from them, with a net metering setup, during daylight hours, you can be powering your home using solar panels, and you can also be selling all of the excess electricity from your solar panels back to the power company. So you're actually building up credits on your, uh, on your account all day long, so that during evening hours, when the sun's no longer shining, you have these credits built up from the daytime hours, so you still don't have to pay out of pocket for what you consume during evening hours. Now, if you're a Georgia Power customer, you need to be aware that Georgia Power has already hit its net metering cap. And so if you look here on the website, they had an initial allotment here of up to 5,000 homes and, or up to 32 megawatts capacity of solar for the residential net metering program. And so they have hit that cap. Now that doesn't mean that you can't still utilize solar panels in Georgia, but what it does mean is that if you're a Georgia Power customer, you're not necessarily going to get the same payback by being able to sell the excess credits. So in those cases, you may want to look at a smaller system, perhaps targeting 50 to 60% of your electric bill as opposed to trying to take out the entire electric bill. That way you can maximize the self-consumption of that solar electricity. So you're not going to be selling a lot back, but at least you can be powering your home directly during daylight hours. Also, for those of you who are looking at doing solar power with battery storage, adding battery storage to your solar system allows you to self-consume your solar energy both daytime and nighttime. So in the case here, if you're limited by the net metering cap, you can still power your house during daylight hours on solar power and then draw off your battery during evening hours and then the next day the solar will power the house and recharge the battery. So that's one way that you can stretch your solar system using that battery storage so that even if net metering is not available to you, you can still maximize uh, your ability to self-consume solar and knock out your electric bill as much as possible. Now, if you're on one of the local co-ops, the net metering programs are still available. So you don't necessarily have to install a storage battery if you don't want to, to be able to self-consume the maximum amount of solar. But please, if this is something that you want to take advantage of, the time to do it is now, because if the net metering program is not extended or expanded, then you may not be able to get the same dollar for dollar payback on your solar investment. The reason why this is so important is because a lot of people that choose to go solar choose to finance the purchase of their solar power system. And right now, as of this recording, we have a lot of great low interest rate solar loan programs to where basically, you know, what you save off your electric bill using net metering is able to completely cover the, the loan payment on your solar panels. So you can basically switch over to solar with no out-of-pocket cost, and then eventually the, the loan is paid off and you own the system outright. So it's very, very important to take advantage of net metering now if this is something that you're, you're planning on doing. And then of course, the last thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that you take advantage of that 26% federal tax credit for solar. Yeah, that's right. The, the federal government will actually reimburse you 26% of your overall project cost at the end of the year when you file your tax return. Now, you do have to have the tax liability. So uh, as long as you, know, you take your, your solar contract cost, take 26% of that amount, 
as long as your federal tax liability is, is that amount or greater, then you'll be able to take all of that rebate back in the first year. That's also one of the great ways to knock down the balance on your solar loan. If you decide to go the finance route, you can receive your tax credit from the government and then use it to pay down the balance of your solar loan so that you can lock in a lower monthly payment. So folks, this has been a quick look at the solar power program in Georgia and for Georgia Power in particular. As always, if you're getting good value from the videos that we're posting on the channel here, please be sure to go ahead and click on that like button. And I, I know I say it all the time, but it is so important because there's so many videos that are out there that if YouTube doesn't see it, you know, all the clicking and the sharing, then it'll just bury this video and, you know, show you something else. Uh, and then also click on the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. That way, as we're publishing the new videos, it'll show up in your feed and then hopefully you won't miss anything. Well, folks, as always, I thank you for taking the time to tune into the channel today. I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.